they're CrossFit Deliverance athletes. Let's go ahead, let's talk about this next week. I'm gonna uh, go ahead and be skipping the uh, behind the scenes, uh, what's happening in the gym, so on and so forth for the month of May at the end, because we're gonna take a little bit of time to frame uh, really what the gymnastics cycle is all about and what this next week will be and what the very end, the very last week will be of this gymnastics cycle. So let's go ahead, let's frame that up. Um, this week is going to be test week which means that we're gonna go ahead and bring you through a variety of tests at the beginning of every class um, to either test a technical capability or a raw strength of something that involves body weight movement, right? And, and when we think gymnastics, usually we always think about, well, what are items that we are essentially hanging from? But for today, we're gonna to go ahead and think or body weight movements, we're gonna think anything that we're gonna be pulling, hanging from, or anything that's inverted. Uh, so let me go ahead and let me give you guys what the test day, uh, tests will be this week, uh, so you guys can go ahead and plan out the week accordingly. So this is a rare occurrence that you guys get to see what the programming is for an entire week and choose it. I don't wanna see any sandbagging. If you can, you need to come to all the tests. So if you were to come almost every day, Right, Monday through Friday, this would be the week to do it. Um, so let's go and let's talk about Monday is gonna be raw, uh, um, a raw strength pulling test, and then a midline test. The midline test is gonna go ahead and involve toes bar and high knee raises, so a little more on the technical side, not so much raw strength. Um, we have Wednesday will be the next test. That's gonna be the raw pressing stretch uh, um, test. Uh, and then Thursday will be the inversion test. Um, so those are gonna be our strict test days. So Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday will go ahead and be another test that we're gonna use a classic, really old school um, named workout for, for, and that that workout is Nicole on Friday. Right? Nicole is a 20 minute AMRAP of a max unbroken pull-ups, and then as soon as you drop from the pull-up bar, you have to go out on a 400 meter run. So you're trying to collect the maximum amount of pull-ups that you can in 20 minutes. Uh, so really what we're looking to do is kind of having some raw uh, pressing, pulling strength tests, seeing how we go ahead and do upside down. And then the very um, end of the week, you get to go ahead and kind of so sh showcase, cool, combined with your raw pulling strength, how is your technical capability uh, of your pulps as well in terms of kipping, butterfly, uh, anything really in between. How does your skill translate into your raw strength? Um, that's gonna be a fair test. Uh, so that's gonna be this week, guys. Let's go ahead, let's dive a little deeper into Monday though, right, since uh, that is what uh, this vlog's supposed to really be focusing on. Um, so what that raw pulling strength uh, test and midline test will be, you're gonna be doing strict pull-ups, if for those of you that don't have strict pull-ups, you're going to be doing max ring rows. Uh, for the midline test, you're going to be max toast bar with a unbroken set for all of these movements. And then if you uh, don't have toast bar, you're going to be doing uh, high knee raises. Again, with all the pulling motions, the strict pull-up is all the way from full extension of the elbow and the shoulder all the way to the chin is up over the bar, right? Uh, the ring rows, the feet are going to be um, put in line with the... Um, pull-up bar that the rings are affixed to. Uh, we need to make sure that our standard is that the uh, top of the ring is set to the elbow, right? When your arms are down to your side, so that means everybody's at the same standard. Uh, for the toes to bar, right? Toes have to go ahead and touch the bar. For the high knee raises, we're looking for that, that knee when we pull them up, that it breaks above the plane of the hip. And of course, for the high knee raises, we aren't just looking to, to open and close the hip flexor, we're actually looking to have that contraction through the abdominals, through that anterior chain, right? And not just the hip flexors, just that muscle group of the anterior chain. We wanna include the abdominals as well. Uh, so that's gonna be the tests. The skill practice is gonna be split jerk. We're gonna work on full hip extension. Guys, that's just a fancy word of saying, we're gonna focus on trying to use as much leg drive and drive as much power from our legs that we possibly can to get that bar as high as possible. Uh, so that's gonna be skill practice. Then all we're doing is weight training. Uh, the barbell's gonna be coming from the ground for this entire um, weight training session. 
and it's going to be split jerks. So that means you're not going to be taking it for a rack. That means you've got to do one power clean or squat clean, your choice, so we can get that bar back, barbell into the front rack. You're going to go ahead and you do four unbroken split jerks. Then you're going to go ahead, take a rest. You're going to do three, then two, then one. And of course, you're looking to progressively increase in load. If you can go and squeak out a uh, jerk PR, awesome. And uh, you never know because you're having to be forced to pull it from the ground. Uh, you will go ahead and there's a possibility of getting a clean jerk PR too. So go ahead, uh, that should be really fun today, uh, a Monday, just some nice tests for the midline and the pull up, and then of course just getting heavy for the split jerk, putting it overhead. Guys, the mobility stability uh, tips of the day, mobility is gonna be lats, 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 and the pec uh, minor, go ahead and make sure the shoulder can actually go ahead and get into a vertical plane and not something that's forward of it. That's gonna be important on the uh, toes to bar and the high knee raises too. Um, and then when it comes to activation, guys, we're really looking for uh, really turning on that lat for that upper back stability on the jerk and all of the course, really go ahead and try to turn that larger muscle group that's all about really pulling, right? And that also helps us in the control of the kit for the toes to bar and the high knee raises. Uh, any other thing that you wanna activate, of course, is your midline to make sure we aren't wobbly during the split jerk. And of course, they're on and ready to go ahead and make sure we're organized for all the gymnastics tests. So if you have extra time, go ahead, hit those mobility and stability tips up. Um, other than that, guys, I hope you had a wonderful weekend. And remember, always be relentless in everything that you do.